Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how you can move your Steam folder from one location to another. Maybe you want to move it from one disk to another without losing your games when you format your computer. So what you need to do in brief is you're going to have to copy the Steam folder from one location to the location where you want to take it. And then you're going to click on steam.exe and Steam is going to automatically update itself. And after that, you can log in and all your games will be there available for you. So let's see how we can go about that. Let me just come here and I want to go to the Steam folder. So I'll go to manage and browse local files. And I can just go back all the way until we get to the Steam folder. So what you have to note is that my Steam has already moved to the location where I want it. You can come in here and delete all the necessary folders. And the only folders you may need to copy are Steam the Steam app, user data, and the Steam.exe file. But sometimes I consider myself lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the entire folder. So I can just copy the entire folder. And this is not going to affect anything really. And once I copy it, I can move it to the location where I want it. Maybe I want it, I want it on this. So what I can do is, so if I want it on this location, I can just paste it in there. And once you paste it, you will just need to open the folder, go into steam.exe. So I don't want to do this. I'm just going to cancel. So once you copy it, just go into the Steam folder and then look for steam.exe in the new location of Steam. Just double click on it. And as soon as you double click on it, Steam is going to start updating itself. And once it's updated, all you have to do is log in. It updates and you log in. All you have to do is go to your Steam and you can run any games that you want to run. So if I come here, let's choose a game that I haven't run since I moved the folder. And I can click on that. And if I play that, it's going to ask me, and this is just to update itself, to update the game with all the necessary files. Yeah, this is some nonsense that comes with this game, but all you have to know is that the game will run fine. The game will, will run fine, whichever game you want to run. So let's come back and play this one. I know it doesn't need it doesn't need that nonsense. So I'm going to do the same thing. And once it sets up, the game is going to just start. And for this one, of course, I will install that. So after installing the .NET, after installing .NET Framework 3.5, let's see if now the game will play fine. And yeah, the game is going to launch without you having to download anything else. The .NET Framework thing is just because this is a new Windows installation. There we go. And if you do experience any error, just click continue. Now for most games, everything is just going to work well. However, for some older games, you may experience problems. So like for this one, let's see if this is going to be okay. And let's just click on play. And if we choose to play the game, it's going to set it up. So you can see it's doing a first time setup and it doesn't have to download the files again. And there we go. The game is going to start and that's just how it will be for all your games. So that's pretty much it, how you can move your Steam folder and you're not going to lose the games. With some of the older games, you may experience some problems. Just install whatever you're asked to install and the game is going to run fine. And if it doesn't, you can just reinstall the game. You can re-download it and reinstall it. For the newer games, you're probably not going to experience any problems. So that's it for this video. And before I end the video, so once everything is running fine and you have Steam already installed and running, just come down here and pin it to the taskbar for ease of access. That's it for this video. I will see you next time.